Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video, I will draw this figure in AutoCAD. Let's start. So first, I will make this portion. The dimension is given. The radius of this circle is 16 mm, and the radius of this circle is 21 mm, and the radius of this circle is 32 mm. The radius of this circle is 40 mm. Let's draw these four circles. Enter C from the keyboard for circle. Click Enter radius 16 mm. Now again C enter from the keyboard for circle. Again specify same center for for circle. Enter radius 21 mm. Now again C enter for circle. Again specify same center point for circle. Now this time enter radius 32 mm. Now again C enter for circle. Specify same center point. Enter radius 40 mm. Now I will make this portion this gap. So this distance is given. The gap distance is given 6 mm. From this vertical line, this towards this side, this distance is 3 mm, and towards this side, this distance is also 3 mm. Let's start this gap. And if we see this figure, so this gap is six times one, two, three, four, five, six. So we will create it this by array. So we will first make a line, click on line, then make a vertical line from the quadrant of this circle towards this circle. This gap. Now enter O for offset. Now enter offset distance 3 mm. Click on this line. Click towards this side. Click on this line. Click towards this side. Press escape. Now press tier. Double enter and trim this these lines and these lines. Escape. Now select this line and erase it. Now select these two lines and press AR from the keyboard for array. Now click on polar. Now specify center point for array. Click on this center point. Now we we are required six gap. So this is already six. So click on escape. Now press TR, double enter, and trim the unnecessary portion, which is not required in our drawing. Escape. Now I will make these two circles. So for this first I will look at the center point of these two circles. So this distance is given 70 mm from this center point towards this center point. And the radius of this circle is 20 mm and the radius of this circle is 15 mm. Let's write, click on line, click on this center point, make a line of 70 mm. Escape. Now click on circle, make a circle of 20 mm radius. Again, click on circle arrow center radius and make a circle of 15 mm radius. Select this line and erase it. Now I will make these two circles. For this first we will look at the center point. So this distance is given from the upper distance is given from this 60 mm from this center point. So the upper distance is 60 mm and this distance is also given given over here which is 50 mm. So let's look at the center point and the radius of this circle is given over here 15 mm and the radius of this circle is 20 mm. This object is symmetrical so the dimension of these two circles, these two circles and these two circles and these two circles are same. So let's write, click on line then click on the center point make a vertical line of 60 mm enter now make a horizontal line towards left side of 50 mm escape now click on circle arrow center radius or we can also create circle by shortcut command c enter from the keyboard so click on this and make a circle of 21 mm radius dim and now click on circle arrow center radius and specify same center point now make a circle of 15 mm radius now select these two lines and erase it now if we see, so we will fill it this portion by radius 20 mm. So I will use the 10 10 radius command. So click on circle arrow, click on 10 10 radius, click on this circle, this circle, enter radius 20 mm. Now press TR, double enter and trim this portion. Escape. Now if we see the figure, so this line is from the quadrant of this circle join with this circle, but tangent to this circle. From this point it is the quadrant point and join with this circle with by tangent. So let's make it then you will understand. I'll enter for line then click on this quadrant point of this circle and enter TAN for tangent. Now click on this circle it will automatically tangent to this circle. Escape. Now if we see this figure so this portion and this portion is symmetrical. So I will mirror it. So TR I will enter first I will trim this portion. Escape now select these portion this portion and press MI from the keyboard for mirror. Mirror this portion from this center towards this center. Click on now. Now I will mirror this portion towards the right side. So the whole object will create it. So select first uh, this portion, all this portion because this object is symmetrical. 
select and then press mi from the keyboard for mirror then mirror this portion from this quadrant to this quadrant from this vertical line now click on no so this figure is exactly created according to the given dimension according to this given dimension thanks for watching if you facing problem then comment below i will answer you